Okay, this is a uh, how to wire a potentiometer with LEDs or to control just about any other electronic device. Um, that has to be DC current, that is. Here I have a 5K ohm linear taper potentiometer. And you, have, you see I have it uh, set up right here. Three blades. Uh, now what I did was I hooked my multimeter set to the 20K ohm. That's uh, 200, 2000 ohm. 20,000 ohm uh, resistance. So it's testing for resistance and here you can see that I have it in the first well depending on how you're looking at it I have it on the two blades on the right. Uh, the obvious reason I didn't use this for my car is because well it's huge. So right now it's measuring zero ohms and as you turn it it'll actually increase and it'll go up. Now that's 2,000 that's 3,000 0.68 and so on and so forth. So you're probably asking how would you use this to control power? Very simple. Uh, you'd have... I should have drew something up for this. Do this up really quick. As you can see you have your your device, your LEDs in this case. You have a negative that goes to your vehicle's chassis. Now if you have a vehicle made um, after 2008, I believe they stopped grounding the chassis due to uh, current that corroded the connections. Um, so you have your negative going to the chassis in most vehicles, and you have a positive from the LEDs going, or other light source, going to your potentiometer. Now, it doesn't matter which of these two blades you hook up, because through them, the resistance changes. So as long as you find the two blades where the resistance changes, you can have the positive to the LEDs from the battery over here or over here. So what you want to do, hook your LEDs to the chassis on the negative side, the positive to one of the two blades on the potentiometer, and then from the battery to the other blade on the potentiometer. So you have to the battery, say to the red, from the potentiometer to the LEDs in the black and what this is going to do is run the line at zero, re zero ohms of resistance which means a full 12 volt 12 volt of power is now going to your LEDs and it's bouncing all over because I'm moving and as you turn it up the power to the LEDs is actually going to go down because it's adding resistance to the line so you can see it's at 3 and at 5. Uh, I suggest getting a 10k ohm potentiometer and you can get the audio dials for them. This is a control knob. If it's right over the uh, 10k audio dial get some light on there. Potentiometer and it gives you a nice little knob to hold on to instead of a ridiculous silver knob that's 3 inches high. And uh, this is a regular number 2 pencil and the audio potentiometers are about that long. They're just about an inch from base to top. So once again, you hook your LEDs, your negative, to the chassis of your vehicle, the positive to one of the blades on the potentiometer, the other blade of the potentiometer to the positive of the battery. Now somewhere in there you obviously want to fuse. Um, and that's it. That, that's really all it is. If you have any questions, go ahead and post on uh, the comments of the video, and I'll try to update it as I can.